Good evening. Uh, welcome to the first episode of the LFER segment of season three of uh, New Champions me. Protocol using Brennell Carol Mod and it's good um, idea. Um, it's the first day on Monday and Tuesday, so. A little bit of a recap. Uh, season three takes place in 2072, uh, all over the U.S. Um, from 50 years after the events of the end game at the end of season two. Gotta go. See you later. See you later. Everyone, was, be. every member of the new champions protocol had either sacrificed themselves. Uh, no, no, no. Allowing them it's my job. To be banished, <laughs> or was banished by Dr. Destroyer. Well, actually, um, uh, Sanaka Rib, his artificial intelligence that took over. Um, and all of that gave rise to a period that we call the Vanishing Wars. During that time, fear and chaos plagued the entire world as the vanishing technology became widespread. Quickly thereafter, an arms race for the creation of vanishing machines ignited and even more of the world's population was vanished. Vanishings were used by terrorists to extort money, uh, governments to topple their opposing governments, if you want to do that work, yeah. <laughs> bought or had their own machine made to try to vanish their uh, competitors and rivals. It was a horrible time for the planet, and nearly four decades of uncertainty and dread followed. One fundamental aspect of the vanishing technology was the high level of energy that was required to make it work. This foundation led to the creation of the International Energy Regulation Authority in 2055, or the IREA. Boo! Boo! The IREA, yeah, yeah. The IREA was uh, authorized by the, the remnants of the United Nations to identify and regulate the production and storage of energy. Their mandate includes the enforcement of laws enacted to eliminate energy production and storage that might predict a vanishing. In time, the IR, IERA became the equivalent of like the FBI and the CIA, but on an international scale. At its core, IERA violent, violently opposes and vehemently opposes the vanishing and believes their mission as a moral imperative. Um, many believe that the IERA had gone too far, like in the city of Waco, Texas. In 2059, Waco was refusing to acquiesce to the strict energy regulation demand. They operated for 26 days without providing any real-time energy data to the IERA. The IERA decided to bring military action against the city, disconnecting them from the en energy grid, and began actively seeking out and destroying any energy stores or renewable energy sources within a 60-mile radius of the city, thus darkening the city. The military forces established energy detection units across the city, eventually returning access to the energy grid. However, flames from the destruction combined with high winds in the area, creating cascading wildfires that could not be extinguished since the pumping stations were offline. The city was destroyed. More than 100,000 were made homeless and more than 25,000 lost. There was uh, seven years of discipline and disciplinary hearing word, uh, afterwards and no meaningful result came from all of that. 
Shortly after the conclusion of the hearings, a new organization, technically labeled a terrorist organization by the United Nations, made their presence known to the world. The leaders of the Free Energy Resistance. Though unconfirmed, it is confirmed that the lifers were formed in part by those, some of those who had dis departed the IERA because they felt that the, the IERA had gone too far by invading the privacy of individuals, communities, and other organizations through their monitoring regimes. They also strictly disavowed the IERA's practice of darkening cities and villages who did not comply. Even without the extreme loss of life in Waco, the poverty and humanitarian crisis caused by darkening had been catastrophic. Far worse, far worse than the vanishing. While the foundations of LES, LFER, if you want me to transpose, started with the best of ideas, uh, by 2071, LFER had become a network of self operating independently across the world. In June of 2071, the city of New York was rocked by explosions at power stations and gas pipelines that occurred simultaneously with the malfunction of the nearby hydroelectric station. This caused a seven-day blackout in the city of New York in the middle of summer. The ro and rolling blackouts continued for 17 days while rep repairs were being made around the city. Unfortunately, thousands of people, mostly elderly, died of heat stroke and heat exhaustion. Uh, that cell of the LFER was eventually excommunicated by the other groups within the LFER for causing this much, that much damage. Um, all right. What was the reason for attacking New York City? Was it a major I, um, IERA base? Or what, why did they do that? It was, the attack was in retaliation to what had happened at to be in retaliation to what the I E R A had done in Waco. Ah. Um, they kind of caused their own Waco, but not quite as bad. <laughs> um, so all you of that is left. Attack, attack! I got it. Yeah. Um, all of this has led here to this moment. Um, Tonight we have three players playing uh, in the game in our scenario called So You Want to Be a Lifer 2. <laughs> um, we have Kurt playing Honey Badger. Uh, Hello. Proxator, Proxator playing Nightwing. And Rightbot playing Timber. I'm going Timber. to allow you all... Timber! Yeah. I'm going to allow you all to... Uh, Give okay. us some information about your character, and um, motivations, and and all that. So let's go ahead and start with Kurt and Honey Badger. Sure. So Honey Badger is actually she's not from America. She's from South Africa, and so she happens to have a grudge against the. Uh, IERA, as well as her own South African government, for seizing her parents' uh, estate because it was producing energy that they deemed to be illegal. And uh, so she vowed revenge on them. And luckily, in university, she had uh, befriended a professor who was working on duplicating the Cyberline formula, which was a Super Soldier formula, which uh, was being used by uh, America's elite superhuman law enforcement until Dr. Destroyer went on his fateful rampage. And uh, he 
kind of recreated it, and she volunteered to be a test subject, which uh, gave her, uh, basically gave her increased abilities uh, to kind of peak human perfection. And on top of that, he designed a uh, armored costume, as well as a set of kind of claw weapons, as she uh, happened to be something of a admirer of the honey badger animal, and of course, I've been familiar with the now classic internet video. And uh, so she made a name for herself as a vigilante over in South Africa, and uh, naturally was a recruit for the LFER there. But uh, however, her activities, which uh, did include, uh, did include in fact killing some corrupt <coughs> officials, uh, brought too much heat, so the LFER decided to bring her on over to the United States, along with that of her mentor, uh, so she could uh, better assist with the main effort as well as uh, get out of increasingly hostile territory. And uh, yeah, so uh, Honey Badger definitely has kind of a vigilante mentality. She doesn't really trust the government uh, and uh, certainly is willing to punish uh, those she deems to be criminals and pirates uh, with deadly force. Uh, she does also have a secret identity. She's currently working as a uh, yoga instructor and a uh, personal fitness trainer. Uh, she also has uh, the effects of the formula also gave her uh, a very volatile temper and she will flip into, uh, into rage if she happens to get weak. Hmm. All right, thank you. And uh, Kirk Sater, Nightmare. Right. Nightwing, his alter ego is named uh, Mike Vasquez. Um, Mike is a young guy. He's uh, um, just in uh, a college age. He just recently graduated high school. Um, he's originally from uh, New York. He was born in Spanish Harlem. Uh, his father was a cop. Um, and when he was three years old, um, his dad was killed in the line of duty. And so basically, he and his young took care of his younger brother while his mom um, worked multiple jobs. Um, so he sort of became the man of the house. Um, both he and his brothers were uh, pretty studious. His mom kept them in the straight and uh, straight and narrow, and um, that didn't make him particularly uh, popular with the uh, gangs and bullies at school. Um, so. Um, one day, uh, someone so, sort of took him uh, as a mentor after uh, they watched him get his butt whipped in the streets and sort of um, trained him in his uh, fighting skills and gymnastic skills um, way into his um, late teens. Um, as he was graduating high school, um, his mom and his brother were in a subway um, accident. Um, and the city was negligent. Basically, they won a big law, uh, lawsuit. His mom was killed. His brother was paralyzed. And um, that's kind of the money that he uses kind of on the side to support himself and his brother while he um, goes about doing these vigilante activities. His brother is kind of a, a genius. And um, he's the one who basically engineered um, his suit, the suit that he wears kind of to go out into the night and do his vigilante uh, things as he wants to kind of be a lifer because um, you know with his parents dead he really feels strongly that um, the energy should be allowed to be used by everyone um, and that's kind of what he looks forward to uh, being able to someday um, you know be able to communicate with his parents once again and that's it awesome fantastic all right, and Timber, right block. My name's Timber. I'm from Seabrook, Hampton, New Hampshire, uh, right near the power plant. Uh, we've been down there forever. Um, my grandmama, she worked down at the power plant. My m grandma, she worked down at the power plant. My mama, she worked down at the power plant. And then something strange happened with the concrete down there and uh, I, I, from what I understand nuclear particles got into the water and I'm mutant uh, lots of people in my area in the Hampton Beach Orchard New Hampshire area are mutants due to the Seabrook power plant 
you kind of look at it as a blessing and a curse. We've worked out our differences with the people of New Hampshire. Live free or die state. We believe in it. So we quit the nuclear power plant business, but we still respect the area and we think about the monies that it brings in for our community. I work now as a security guard. I've always been big from my age. I've been a big boy since I was born. So I learned early on when my dad left me, he left me because I, instead of growing hair, I kind of had a moss growing on the top of my head. And it was just something. And, and then I learned right about when I was 14 that I could bust my skin open and bark up. And uh, they've been calling me Timber ever since. I work down at the Hampton Beach Casino. It's, it's a place where rock and roll bands come to play. We get the biggest rockin'est bands in the joint down there, and I protect those people with my life. So, I went away for a while, trying to do security around the country, and a little scratch for myself, trying to earn a little name for myself, because people just seem to like me. And what happened was, is that these gangs tried to come out my mama when I was when I was home one time, and, and, and I just barked up and took care of them. I, I, I twisted chrome around, around bikers' throats, and it, it, it was a thing. Uh, but now I'm, I'm back home because I, I don't know what's going to happen to Mama with all this craziness. And, and I did have a son named Burley. And uh, so I got my son. But, but then what happened in, in 2059, uh, the IERA tried to come down to Seabrook, try to reinforce reinforcements that they had already reinforced. Uh, they tried to put in regulations, and we had already stuck to the regulations, and we knew our business. And they came down there with a convoy, and they weren't prepared for what they received down in Hampton Beach that afternoon on Auction Boulevard. It was a sight to be seen. We took out a convoy, about 100 people, and then we had a detente with those people up in the IERA, but we have an unsteady truce. And I'm here just to sort of check out what the lifers are all about, because it seems like it might be a place for me because I'm trying to protect people, and that's my job. And I'm here to protect what I own and what I love. And that's my role as Timber. Fantastic. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> so, um, Honey Badger and the Doctor are uh, have uh, decided to meet here at this bar. Um, even though the sign out front says Ken and Lint, it's actually uh, just recently been purchased and is now being called uh, For What Ails You. And that's the AL is A L E. That's our story, and we're sticking to it. Yeah. So, Honey Badger, go ahead and put yourself somewhere in the. Uh, scene bar here. Okay. Um, at the bar, I like it. You can be either up at the bar or at a table, mm. okay, or good. on the floor. You've had too much <laughs> to drink already. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Timber. You and Babs have come down to New York City. Um, she's. Uh, been looking around for uh, maybe trying to find uh, uh, another job down here and so you guys are down here uh, doing a little bit of uh, research research and so looking around and all of that so uh, I want you to really leave us in Seabrook <laughs> kind of hard to reach out there anyway um it's i mean it's not that far by train or anything like that so you guys are uh looking around for somewhere to drink and hey here's this new bar flashing open saying uh, uh new proprietor and, I do want to uh, say that uh, Timber always doesn't look like a giant tree man. He does transform, and he needs to uh, to actually 
put his hands into some sort of dirt. Hopefully there's some sort of dirt around this area uh, to, in order to uh, turn into the, 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 the hulking green monstrosity that he is. You keep okay. dirty pockets, do you? Uh, well, I'm hoping for, <laughs> I'm hoping for a potted plant. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, we'll have to come up with a uh, a different model for you at some point with the uh, secret ID for. Gotcha. Okay. So you guys are in there, and uh, it's it's not super loud, but it's not a really quiet place. Um, and there's uh, a bartender, and he's a uh, let's pull this up for later. Right? Did I always shrink him down? Uh, well, yeah. Thank you. Um, Timber, over by your name, I've just put a character, a figurine named James Harmon. If you, if you want, we can, if you give me your, your regular ID name, I'll change that so that you can have a humanoid figure to use for right now. Okay. So what's, what's your, your uh, non-hero name? Your name is, uh... Bronson Stutter. Bronson Stuttered. All right. So there's a. F oh, hang on a second. If you right click and save that, it'll save it to your system so that you can draw this in uh, at another he's time. Been, he's been demoted. He should yeah. still be able to save it, though. Where? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, just right, you right click on the, the figure, Branson, Bronson stuttered here. Okay. You see him? Not yet, no. Well, I'm right beside your tree. <laughs> oh, right beside the tree that's located in the game? Yes. Yeah. Okay, the tree in the bar. Okay. I'm trying to scroll in here to find them. You see the green arrow? It's right by your name, right block. Oh, up there. Okay, gotcha. I was looking at the wrong place. Yep. It just get um. Now that might have a. It probably stats has. and stuff. Because I, I stole this from Silk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it I'm, have, I'm good at stealing it things. Yeah, if you if you right click, yeah, save object, yeah. Okay. and then enter, and then you've got it. Okay, save again. Yep. Uh, All right. Change him up, put him over on the board. Yeah, yeah, you can put him over on there. Uh, the bartender is a silver haired gentleman. Um, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And, uh, they call uh, some of the other people in there are saying are, are calling him Uncle Raleigh. Um, there's also a female uh, walking around uh, checking the tables and things like that, <laughs> and a couple other. Excuse me. A couple other guys. Uh, guys moving things around, helping the bartender and all of that. Mm. 
Is there a ban? Uh, not at the moment. It's it's uh, like piped in music. Uh, the room is fairly dark, not using a lot of electricity. Um, because you know that's LED. not allowed. Yeah, <laughs> LED lighting and things like that. Um, y'all are sitting around and, and talking, um, uh, and in five in in five walk in walks in five uh, bikers. They're rowdy. They, they're coming in from this these doors up here. And they're jostling around each other and, and all that. They <clears throat> walk up to the bar and uh, order drinks. And uh, Uncle Raleigh serves them. They're obviously all pretty much going after beer and all of that. And they're being real rowdy. Right no kidding. Everything's going along fine for for a few minutes and then suddenly um, they start hassling they start hassling the, the waitress and getting louder and more boisterous the more they drink um, Nightwing you're out patrolling uh, the, the area as you you do usually at night. Um, this is right on the borderline of where you're normally at. But you've been hearing um, some rumors about a new cooker, pharmacist, uh, working on some new designer drugs. So you've been kind of expanding out because you want to make sure and protect your area. Um, so, is there anything that you guys, uh, Honey Badger, is there anything you want to say to anybody, or, or? Uh, so is the, uh, is Dr. Moses with me? Is Dr. Moses with me? Or is yes. Just... Yeah, Dr. Moses. All right, so she turns on over. She's kind of as Clara Engelbrecht right now. Um, eh, attractive blonde. Uh, in her, uh, looks like she's probably in her late 20s or so. Actually, in her early 30s, but tries to look younger, of course. And, uh, yeah, turns on over to him and just says, ah, Silver Makers, of course. It seems that uh, since the Americans are living up to their reputation, no? Yes, yes, of course. They, they don't know how to handle the liquor. Is there any insignias on their jackets? Uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure what it is, but yeah, they're they're all they're all from the the same group. Thank you. Um, would I be it's... able to use streetwise to see if I recognize anybody? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So the uh, the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna uh, roll. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah. So I got my skill rolls. Do I? Right, skill rolls and street guys. Just click on it. Yep. And it'll roll. That should. Nice. Alrighty. Nice roll. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Um. Yeah. You, they are definitely. They're part of. Uh, can I own... can I step in for a minute? Yes. Okay. So this biker gang, they're wearing jackets, and on the back it says Hellions. Uh, but they didn't spell it right. You know, they only put one L. Um, and uh, they're they're um, 
leather jackets, you know, rips in the arms, stuff like that. Not really good quality. They're probably trying to identify as uh, Hell's Angels, but they aren't that classy. Ooh boy, mama, looks like some boys in here tying it on tonight. <laughs> You better watch them because you don't know what they're gonna get into. They look a little rowdy up in here. How you feeling, Mama? You don't feel no boy? I agree with you. Uh, they, they don't seem to be paying too much attention to uh, yeah. anything but that pretty girl. You don't I'm not sure that pretty girl. I'm not sure that pretty girl likes it neither. I, I tell you, I tell you, Mama, she is a pretty girl. I, not afraid. I'm gonna say something to it myself. Uh, but you just tell me something, and uh, if if you're getting too right, I'll take care of this mess, Mama. You know that's true. You see any? You see any? Uh, you see any uh, pot plants around this 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 place? Yeah, there's a there's a, a couple that you can get to. All right. Uh, ooh, uh, Mama, let me get for this young lady a beer. So I will uh, I will attempt to uh, buy a beer for uh, the, the, the striking woman that's also at the bar that doesn't look like she's part of the biker gang, and uh, I will attempt to use my charm to uh, make the uh, purchase go over well, and also buy a beer for the, the doctor that she's with. Okay. So. Not to see. Oh, I barely see it. Uh, well, honey, you mind if I buy you a beer? You look like you could use a friend in a night like this with the, with the, with the, 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 the clientele that certainly surrounds this place. Oh, you are very kind. I'm glad to see that there is chivalry uh, still around in this country. Well, you know, I'm not from New York City. I, I, I'm from. I'm from. I'm from New Hampshire, live for a dark country, and, and we just don't believe in treating people just like whatever's going on in here. I, I say I don't like the way they're treating that waitress over there. I tell you, neither do I. Neither do I. I am from service. My, my uh, friend, and my friend, and me. We are here on. Uh, we are here on the uh, guest guest visa. Very good. You live there somewhere near Johannesburg? Ah, yes. I did, in fact, live there for a time being. I uh, tell you. The show bug. I've always wanted to visit South Africa. It seems like it could be a beautiful place. I, I wanted to see the animals and be in the country and see the Serengeti. Ah, yes. Parts of it are very nice, but it's unfortunately much of the country has kind of gone to hell over the past few decades. It is really quite a shame. Yeah, that's just saying what the world's like, I guess, these days, huh? I don't want to get away from this. That is understandable. So what the brought you here to New York City? Mama, she's thinking about leaving Hanson Beach. I can't believe she wants to leave the casino, but she's looking for some high-fangling job where she could be a, 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 a high-slicking, falutin' boss enders. Well, I said, well, um, I hope that she managed to find it. I myself am working as uh, a, uh, a personal fitness instructor. Also work, also, I also do yoga as well. Well, I can see it's work. paying off, let me tell you. You look like you work out, I can tell. Oh, why, thank you. I can tell that you, uh, uh, tell though that your appearance, you have not gotten it from the gym. But <laughs> You know, I just eat my greens like every other country boy, I tell you. I like my seafood, and, I, and you know, if I have to, you know, throw a little muscle around, I guess I know how to do that myself. I see. Well, uh, I brought in the lab coat to represent the scientist. Oh, the good doctor. Yeah. The good doctor, whose name escapes me. 
Moses. Moses. Moses supposes his toeses are. Never mind. I will rename him. <clears throat> Alright. Um, Timber and Honey, honey Badger, give me a perception roll, please. Mm. And somebody else said. Somebody yeah, else I didn't say. Go I ahead. just wanted to um, ask is there anything. Um, any information that I have about this drug dealer that would lead me into this particular area or uh, to be curious about this bar at all or anything around? Um, I, yeah, go, go ahead and roll your... Uh, uh, street, streetwise? Yeah. Hey. Okay. Um... You know that, that it seems to be centered somewhere in this area. Maybe not necessarily this bar, but somewhere in this area. It's on the corner of walk and don't walk. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's like that. Uh, out, out of curiosity, how tall is this? Uh, how tall is this? I uh, on a good day, a, a right old hot six eight. Six eight, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're you're like over a you're you're, you're basically over a foot taller uh, of uh, Clara. She's like five six, probably about five eight in her heels. But yeah, you you you're pretty much down over her, so you have to be quite a model of a man. <laughs> well, if you want to stand on a stool, I don't mind you taking a look at the top of my head. Uh, it seems they grow them very big in New Hampshire. Like, uh... Well, I live by the good clean air of the sea and the ocean. And, yeah, you know, my mama, she just called me a big baby as soon as she saw me. I was a beefy boy. Right, that mama? Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, no. Yes, you were. Um, <clears throat> Timber, you notice that this guy right here is starting to uh, act a little strange, um, different than what he's been doing. He's uh, starting to kind of to, to, to shake a little bit. Uh, honey Badger. Out of the corner of your eye, this one here is also starting to, to shake and, and, and shiver, and, and it's it's not cold in the room, you know, so that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Uh, something I tried to strike up a conversation with him and say, uh, "Hey, man, are you all right? Is there something wrong?" Uh, he. He's standing there, and his eyes kind of roll, roll back in his head, but he, he doesn't fall down. Um, she is it's kind of glaze over. <laughs> All right, she calls out. This man is having an emergency. Uh, his eyes, they're, they're rolling back in his head. Something is wrong with him. <clears throat> she call emergency service. You know, Frank, hello, uh, I, Mr. Hellion over there, I'm sorry, I, I don't know your name, but I happen to be noticing something about your friend here. He seems to be having a, some sort of conniption, maybe? I, 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 I'm a simple, simple boy, I don't really know about these things, but it doesn't seem like your friend is doing too well, and it doesn't seem like this friend is doing too well over here. Is there anything we can do to help these people to feel a little bit better? Because I know we're getting scared. Uh, as you guys start looking around, you uh, notice that all five of the Hellions are kind of, they've, they've 
losing it. Their drink and losing it. <laughs> well, as I said earlier, yeah, honey badger is screening for you know some of the even call emergency services. And okay. Uh, the doctor reaches over and taps you on your shoulder and says. Bartender is not moving to call anyone. He's watching them with a gleeful, gleeful look in his eyes. over in this area. Okay. Mama. You, you feeling comfortable here, Mama? Because I, I, I don't know if I feel comfortable with you in this, this establishment right now. I, you know I got your back and nothing's going to happen to you, but Bronson might need to go away for a little bit and Tibba might need to come out. Yep, yeah, son, I know. Uh, I'm gonna go in the. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and step out here this door and go around in the corner and watch out. Why, why don't you go back to the hotel we we're in and, and I'll meet you there later? All right, if that sounds like a, uh, a good idea. All right, my Try not to break too much. You know, you know me, I, I'll do my best to keep things on the minimum. And I, I will try to uh, get closer to the nearest uh, potted plants. Yeah, okay. That'll be... Uh, and if I can, I would imagine that... Probably. <clears throat> it's going to be over here. Sorry, I would imagine that since I see the bar and I know that uh, this is kind of the general direction, I figure that since I haven't gotten any more information, it would probably be a good idea to go into the bar and maybe um, talk to some patrons and see if I can gather some additional information. Alrighty. Uh, as you hear, yeah, right there, uh, you can see through the doors. Uh, uh, a female there starting to her, her body is twisting in weird ways. Okay. And um, she's not just an exotic dancer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. Is this an effect that uh, I might be able to recognize in my streetwise situation? Would I be able to recognize possibly the effect of a drug? Nope. You've never seen this before. Would I have any room? Would I have heard any rumors that this is what the drug? that I'm investigating is doing? Uh, yeah, um, the, uh, some of the, uh, uh, you've been hearing a street name like Gino. You don't know if it's an Italian guy or, or what. You did That's fail your, your streetwise role too. My streetwise, yeah. <laughs> But I just see this guy transform into this giant bull thing. Yes. To the door. All right. What? 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 Something turned from me into a bull? Yeah. You got me something? Yeah, right here. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Okay. We might be heading into combat. Just a thought. <laughs> uh, I'm going to attempt to turn into timber. And I'm assuming. Yeah. Sorry. I'm assuming this guy looks hostile, like he's losing his crap. Yes. All right. In the way, the ladies' room. Um, 
I mean, that is going to change. Okay. Uh, this guy over here starts moving around really quickly. Um, this one back here in this corner has changed from a short, fat, portly guy into like a hulking barbarian. one and he's roaring a primal roar okay and how do I change from Bronson into back to timber because I think he needs to come out okay uh, just in this case yeah okay in this case um, just change your token Pick that up and put your token over there. Yeah. Um, yeah, cause I guess you have uh, kind of like an instant change or something. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Shape this. Oh, this ought to be interesting. <laughs> you see another person transform into a big tree. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Here? <laughs> All these transforming hostile people. Uh, on your transformations, are you able to uh, adjust the size, or are you always? No, I'm able to. Uh, I can tr I can grow to fit the room. Okay. I don't necessarily break open the ceiling unless I want to. That needs to be an accidental change. That would be awesome. <laughs> I have that if I go berserk. Oh, I'm coming back. There. That puts you about right. Okay. Um. Alright, All right, so we're going to be going into combat. Um, if your uh, characteristics are different, uh, make sure you have the secondary selected before I start the combat. By the way, I also, I don't know if this is working, but I have um, plus six to my desk, my decks with hand-to-hand um, -hand attacks, so I think it would apply in this situation. I'm going to pummel that guy there. Is before. is that like lightning reflexes or? Yeah, it, yeah, it is lightning reflexes. Okay, so okay. on your character sheet, I think it's under combat. Right. There, there is a, a thing that you can check off for lightning reflexes. Yes, I did. So, but I didn't know if it it's working or not. So that's why. I'm just well, saying, you know. yeah, we haven't started combat yet. That's why you can't see it. I don't know, Carlos. It's like we have to retrain you or something. You do. <laughs> and also keep in mind, you wouldn't be able to move, then attack with it. Huh? Okay, even though, see. even if I if I attack with hand to hand, it has to be standing still. Yes, because it's the attack has the bonus. By the way, it sounds like you bought it. The attack has the bonus. You don't have overall lightning reflexes, so it doesn't affect your move. Oh, that's a pain. At least just the way it sounds. I don't. I haven't looked. That it just says it. It uh, it's lightning reflexes to act first, and then the option is with all hand-to-hand -hand attacks. Okay, so it sounds like it's the. the is that a limitation? It, it's just an option um, for it. So it's not with all actions. It's just with hand-to-hand -hand attacks. Right. So you only get to use that when you're making the hand-to-hand -hand attack. So, yeah, if you're standing next to somebody and you don't have to move, you definitely go first, or you definitely get the bonus. But if you if you have to move, you'll probably have to wait until your deck moves and then attack. Gotcha. Okay, so I'll click it off since I'll probably have to move. And the, the nice thing about um, that particular 
ability is you can click it on and off and it'll move you up and down in the the order in the order by the way that did not exist when i played this so that's yeah. that's true <laughs> 30 bird did some uh work on the ordering and things like that as well which has really helped i think yeah cool Okay. And I, right. have to, um, <clears throat> tell, I have to tell you, my speed is incorrect here. Um, I, T on timber? On timber, yeah. So I'm just being completely honest. Okay. Um, Are you on, um, if you look at primary and secondary, Yep. is the speed wrong in both? Yes. That's weird. Because no. it, sh it should be coming off of the the JSON file, so. Yeah, that's what I'm. I'm that's why I'm confused. Are you um, prone to wander? I'm sorry. <laughs> you said you're confused. So I was just wondering if you're also prone to wander. <laughs> no, I'm confused because I thought I had the uh, most recent one uh, up there, but obviously something got confused in the mix up. But. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so it's a four still... speed as opposed to a five, and that does make a difference in combat. Yeah. Um... Do you have a JSON with the correct? I thought I had, yes. Because if you when can... I tested it initially, it was correct. Yeah. But this is my first time seeing it in this mode, so... Um... I got you. Are you okay with going with the four for now? I am fine with going with four for now. Okay. Yeah. Then we'll carry on as if we were normal. We're not, okay. but, you know, as if we were. Does it say Does it say four from what you can see? Uh, actually, no, I says, can't see anything. It says five. Okay. All right. <clears throat> oh. So, the four is three, six, nine, and 12. Yep. All right. Yep. Well, yeah, we'll no, just... it says speed five. Yeah. You're... Oh, well. well. We'll fix that later. Um, okay, so uh, top of 12, um, they don't really get anything for surprise, and you guys are, are doing that, so I'm going to give you all a free action, and then we'll start with segment 12. Honey Badger, you're changing? Yes, I change, um, and then I will step on out of the... So, and so okay. All right. So you see this, is, uh, this one here, kind of turning to look at the doctor. Um, this one's uh, I'm saying this one. All right. This one's turned and looked at the doctor. This one here, the one in the circle, is... The hamster ball. Yes, yeah, in the hamster ball. He's running around. <laughs> um, this one over here uh, is uh, sparking. The guy yelling, tree in the corner. And uh, Minotaur is looking out the door. All right, and yeah, as you see, stepping on out, you see a uh, tall woman. She's uh, she's, she's five. She's five ten. Has kind of long uh, silver hair, and you see, appears to be clad in this form-fitting costume. Um, and uh, it is also denoted by the distinct claws that you guys have added to. And uh, she sees that they are eyeing Doctor Moses, and she calls out to him. Oh, boys, why don't you pick on someone your own size? Okay. Nightwing. All right, Please. so yeah. I see them, the guy uh, losing his shit and turning into a minotaur. I think I see through the door the other guy uh, turning into a giant tree. Um, I am going to go invisible. Okay. Um, and wait. All By right. the way, do I see do are these doors like glass doors? Yeah. Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I you know the the standard doors in 
uh, New York. Yeah, gotcha. To so businesses. Okay. All right. Timber, you're changing into uh, timber. <laughs> Uh, anything else you want to want to do? Just yeah, is you. that the waitress? And does she look scared, nervous, or uh, otherwise unprotected? So, Ma, right. oops, Mama is beside you. She hasn't managed to get out of the bar yet. If you want, I can bring another figurine for the waitress. Would you like that, yeah, Jerry? Yes, please. One for the waitress and. Uh, Put one back here for the bartender and a couple of others. Okay. Out the rack. A couple other patrons, sort of thing. Well, yeah. There's the. What I should have said is the bar is fairly full. I'll put the other two guys back in the back. Okay. All right. So if that's the case, Timber is going to uh, stretch an arm. Granting Mama a pathway to the egress, so it'll create like a, a an arm barrier here to here, um, just basically making a wall. Gotcha. Okay, um, I missed here to here. I'm sorry. Uh, from where he's standing to uh, the steps of the stage. Oh, okay. So she can get out the exit. All right. All right. So you go right by this guy here. Yep. All right. All right. Um, I'm, I can stay where I am, but I think I can reach that with my stretching, no problem. How much stretching do you have? My uh, stretching is uh, uh, 13 meters. Okay, that's going to get you to this table. From where you are. I think that should be good. Yeah. Where is the door closer right behind you? Yeah, is this there a door is a door, or is this a window? There's a door right there. Okay, oh, yeah, that's, that's the door. Good. Obviously, I'll have her go out that door. And don't even worry about that action. I'll take a different action. Yeah. Okay. All I'm right. Gonna... Uh, do I have to worry about any? I have a limitation. I have to. I have to make sure I protect all anybody who's there first. So. Um, is there is there patrons there or in danger? Yeah, the whole bar. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, here we go. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this guy right here, Spiker Minotaur, with uh, stretchy arms. Okay. All right. Minotaur, you're going Simba. All right, let's go ahead and. Uh, You'll be able to grab at that point because he's kind of, or she, actually. That was a female. Um, that's okay. Um, uh, still kind of dazed from the, the change. All right, Honey Badger, your action, segment 12. All right. Honey Badger is going to go... Um, All right, so she's gonna kind of um, go running on over to, uh, she'll basically run on over to uh, Dr. Moses and just say, uh, just say, don't worry, I'll pr don't worry, I'll protect you, citizen. And uh, then I will uh, turn around to kind of face the, face the crowd and I'm going to uh, basically activate my block. Okay. 
Is that your whole turn? Oh uh, yeah, it's half phase action to move, half phase action to activate the block. Alrighty. Nightwing. Um, you see, All right. you've gone, and you see the the tree arms wrap around, at least grab the Minotaur, and you see a, a woman heading for the store. Is that uh, Mama, supposedly? Yeah. Okay, so she seems okay. Yeah, she's she's she seems to be trying to leave the premises. Yeah, and I don't blame her. So and and there's nothing nothing suspicious about her. She, does she look scared? No. Okay. no. Yeah, she's been through this before with him. And I see. I guess I could probably see through the door. Uh, Sister One is that a patron as well, or what is she doing or acting? She's the uh... sister. One is the waitress. That was the waitress. The waitress. Okay, she seems to be in danger. So um, I am going to fly through that door if I can, um, or I could open it and then go through it. Um, my non-combat movement is fifteen, and this guy here is um, oh no, twelve meters away from me. I just got DC'd. Me too. Love. Okay. I think I did too. Yep. Just connecting on everybody. Yep. All right. Yep. Boop, boop. I don't know if y'all died or I died. <laughs> probably was rough. Uh, if you are hosting the server, I think probably it's probably because it looks like the server went down. Yeah, everybody got bumped. Well. Yeah. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> the joys of TTS. Okay, I'm still, I'm still up. Uh, well, let's see. I'm not seeing the server. Yeah, the That's... server's not up yet. Technical difficulties. Yeah. And Darash, you can't blame Canada this time. Oh, now I'm finally disconnected from the server. Always blame Canada. <laughs> You're just jealous, that's all. Sunday, I have not seen that movie. I don't know the rest of you have. I've Never was really that big into South Park, but I have some friends who are. I did enjoy Team America, though. That one was really funny. <laughs> and as well as basketball. Basketball is funny as well. Basketball's good. Underrated. Agreed. Absolutely. All right. If I see the uh, server. Should we try to connect again? Uh, just a moment. It's, I'm still loading.
just let us know when we can log in again. Okay. Okay, we can log in, or okay, you'll let us know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Helpful, hey? Can you guys hear me crunching away on my uh, celery? No. Oh, good. I actually made shashlik earlier today. That's a very delicious Ukrainian version of a kebab. Oh. Yes. Also Russian, too. Uh, both of them like it. Despite being at war with each other. <laughs> That's what started the war. Yes, yes. Yes, it's my shashlik and borscht. <laughs> I just got timed out again. I never got the server browser. Hmm. I am still here. I am still here for now. You might have to uh, hit the refresh button. Okay, on the top, the little two orange, I mean two uh, blue circles. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I've been looking. Are they going in a circle? They were, yes. They stopped and I still don't see it. Okay. And sometimes it takes uh, a couple of minutes to propagate too. So. Okay. Big word of the week. Propagate. That's a good one. Stop, I don't see it. Not seeing the uh, server. Okay, just give it a couple minutes. Okay. You know, do little things, sell your computer. <laughs> oh, I just got timed out again. That is If you're still not seeing the server in another minute, exit from Steam and come back in again. Okay. It is starting to look like it's Canada's fault. <laughs> Told you. That's just for spite, though. We haven't had this problem in a long time. No. Not yet, not like this. We had some of it during the final game, I guess. When, uh, was it the final? Well, it's... I'm looking on down detector. And... Um... There was a spike at 7... Between 7.12 and 8.12 and then we're hitting a spike again now now at 9.12 
Ooh, look, right block achieved restraint. Play the game for one hour without flipping the table. <laughs> if we're going to keep having this issue, I might need to log. I have to be awakened. Yeah. Um, I hate to do it, but probably just starting combat is probably a good place to call place it. To stop, yeah. Um, we'll we'll do some other research and, and see what all's going on. Um, hold on. I don't think there's a game planned for next week right now, is there? Um, uh, I don't think so. So maybe we could take over next week too. Yeah. Is, is that good with y'all? I would do it. Yeah, yeah I, I think that's fine with me too. Yeah. Okay. I'll be back from vacation then. <laughs> That'll be my first ah, but, vacation. but you'll have your uh, new computer. Hopefully I'll have my new computer. Alright, due to uh, technical difficulties, we're going to call it for the night. Um, I do apologize, and hopefully next week we'll be able to pick it up, and I'll have the table up and ready uh, between 7.30 and 7.45 uh, so that we can make sure that everything's in and where it's supposed to be and how it's supposed to be. Um, we'll awesome. go ahead and We'll go ahead and post a, a, a awesome role playing, by guys. the way, guys. Yes, hey, you guys did a great like job. Oh, thank um, you. This was fun. Uh, we'll post a uh, we'll post stuff online. Um, we'll put a journal out. There. Yeah, we'll put a journal out, and we'll put an event out to continue. Sounds good. Excellent. Thanks, guys. Enjoy right. playing with you guys again. Yeah, yeah. nice seeing you again. You guys in the future. This is, uh, this is, this is exactly what I need. <laughs> awesome. Okay. <laughs> Talk to you guys soon. All right. Good, all. good night. Good night. Yes, good night. Yeah, uh, right block. We'll try to get uh, the Jason file fixed for Timber. Okay. So that it's got the right speed. Because if. As far as I know, the the uh, HTC file was right. But I don't. I don't know. Well, it was yeah. showing. It was showing as speed five for you. So I'm just wondering whether, um, whether you had set. You were looking at primary or secondary for stats. I was and, looking, I saw, I did notice both of those tabs, and I looked at both of them, and both of them had the speed of five. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. But I, yeah, I yeah. think I had the most up-to-date file when I uploaded the JSON file. So, and the other thing is, all the other stats look correct, so, it was, that's just a surprising anomaly. Like, it's only equal, not some fight. Yes. Gotcha. And I have no problem with saying it's a five, but I just. <laughs> I <don't want> <laughs> yeah, no, no. In the season three GM chat, Jerry. Yes. Um, Thirty Bird says that before you before we put characters into combat, make sure that everybody has switched over to secondary. Right. Yeah. I I had, I had um I had already made sure that all of the uh, bikers were. In secondary stats. Okay. Um, but uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> it's just weirdness abounds sometimes. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, fellas, thank you so much. I really. You're welcome. It. You're welcome. We'll we'll we'll.
try well, to get things fixed. <laughs> it'll come together. Sometimes it just oh, yeah. takes issues. Hey, it was amazing for me, so take care, everybody. As long as you had All fun, right. that's the important thing, right? Oh. Awesome. Glad you enjoyed it. And he's already gone. <laughs> So I wonder what the heck was going on with that. Uh, did you happen to get a save of everybody with their characters? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it. I know the save I had that I had just reloaded had all of the miniatures on... I didn't put it in the in the chest. Nah. Okay. Okay, but if you go back and you look at your games under save and load, you've got like auto save one, two, and three. Yeah. And maybe you've got them in one of those. Well, no. What I said is I didn't put it in the chest. Yeah, that doesn't matter. If you go back yeah. to the autosave that has the the figures on, then you can do a read and get and put them back in the in the chest again. And we can maybe we can go through and add the um, the uh, amount of patrons that you want to be in the bar for yeah. 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 causing yeah. issues. I mean. Um, <laughs> And get the get the other characters, the the four, put together. The four. Yeah, the the four. The woman, the 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 bikers, the waitress. Oh, uh, oh, okay, bikers. okay. The other four. Yeah, because we still have a, a we still have a lurker in here. Dum 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 dum. <laughs> I, I, I see you, Kurt. I just don't hear you. Ah, uh, no, I was just kind of listening to your amusing conversation. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Oh, so, um, uh, Mario's game is next Wednesday. But... Yeah, I'm I'm gonna back out of, out of this game. It's it's nothing against y'all or anything like that. Um, yeah. It's, it's getting to be too much. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, the, the last three, two or three games I've played, you know, it's the same villains. Yeah. You know, Gotta it's like, and Black Eyes really isn't. It's a good character. It's just not doing anything against any of the the bad guys, really.